Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. And welcome to a brief update on uh, the Gala token. Um, wanted to briefly cover it. I mean, it has uh, has not moved a lot since my last analysis, I believe. I think I covered it two days ago. Um, uh, but still, a lot of uh, a lot of people are still trading it, and it's it's still very bullish. I mean, you can see a, a very important support level is coming up as well. Uh, so just wanted to cover it and also give uh, give, give my take on it ahead of tonight when. Um, Obviously, we're going to have some uh, some important events coming with the Federal Reserve interest rate. If you want to know more about that and what I think that's going to do with the market, uh, obviously it's kind of intertwined in this video as well. But I also made a full video on that, which I uploaded before this one. Uh, so for now, let's get get right into it. I mean, as you can see, uh, Gala. If you, um, uh, I, I'll call this video like a bull run update. Uh, because as you can see we're still in the middle of a bull run we're still respecting our support levels uh, which right now mainly is around 5.2 cents sure we have lost the support level at around 5.5 and a half cents but that doesn't matter that much um apart from that no real fundamental updates on gala games or gala films or gala music uh, or their acquisition uh, they're doing good but uh, no new news so as I said, if we really look at the technicals, uh, sure, first we were able to hold 5.5. There was really some bullish momentum here. We were really close to break, or at least potentially breaking uh, this level right here, our main uh, resistance level between 6 and 6.2 cents, but in the end didn't make it. Um, and right now, as I said, the, the interest rate is kind of intertwined because that's really going to be the main market mover. Um, ahead of that, I expect us to, uh, to, to, to still be um, well, relatively neutral. We, we, we might actually in the upcoming hours spike up a little bit towards 5.5 cents. We might even spike a little bit above that. But apart from that, it's just going to depend on the outcome of the interest rate, which again, if you want to know more about that, uh, more about that really and what that means, go check out my, my last video on that. But um, essentially what that will mean for Gala is, is whether we can actually hold 5.2 cents or not. Uh, because if the outcome of the interest rate is bad, uh, we're definitely going to drop down to five cents. And, and once 5.2 is given up, given up as a support, we'll just continue to drop down until at least, I think, this level between 4.6 and 4.3. Uh, and from there, we'll have to see whether the market can actually hold itself or, or whether it's over. Uh, Gala obviously has the, has, has the fo positive fundamentals that it itself fundamentally is bullish with all the developments going around at Gala Games. Uh, so I do think that in the case of, of a bad outcome, we'll be able to uh, hold 4.3 and 4.2 as a support. But in the end, it, it does decrease the potential of high, how, how, how high we can get. Uh, for example, if the outcome is just neutral or, or if it's good, I still think uh, that at some point we would be able to break above 5.5 cents, get towards 6 cents, consolidate for a little bit. And, uh, and, and when you know when we're able to stay on top of 5.2 for a little bit longer like i don't know a week or um or whether we, we get new bullish news coming from ghana itself and their uh, and their ecosystem then i still think that we would be able to break above 6.2 and get towards 7 cents or more specifically between 7.1 and 7.5 cents uh, so for now just technically that's still my analysis i still think that's the most likely scenario However, and that's always good to know, it does really depend on the interest rate. You might think, well, uh, Ghana doesn't really care about that, right? I, I know what you're saying, but really the market, really uh, the correlation between, for example, Bitcoin, which is very reliant on those numbers, um, and Ghana is, is just very high, which means that Ghana is going to move along with what the market does. Uh, and therefore it could uh, it could be bullish, but it could also be, be, uh, be bearish. So um, I'll cover that live, of course. Um, but for now, or I'll, I'll follow that closely live. I'm not sure about yet, but for now, that's my take on Gala. If you do have any questions, let me know. And for now, take care and bye.